What is up everybody? I'm coming at you today with a guide on the new leveling missions. So what I mean by that is if you go into the guild here, um, go into adventure level and go to challenge. So these missions are going to give you, the first one is going to give you an adventurer star bond and the second one is going to give you a uh, an assist star bond. I'm pretty sure it's in that order. I know one is one and one is the other, but I'm pretty sure it's adventure then assist. But what we're going to be doing today is checking out how to beat these and beat them as free as possible. So what I mean by that is free to play units all the way. So the first one, the level 80, this is the team that we're going to be using. So, well, first off, let me just show you um, the uh, conditions to get S rank. So it's going to be bell in party within 10 turns and using uh, without using a healer. So this isn't the party we're going to be using apparently because I don't have a bell in the party. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw a bell, any bell in there. Um... And this is, you don't have to use this party. Um, Attack on Titan Aaron is also a really good unit to use. And, like, there's a ton of free-to-play units. And I did make this entire team free-to-play. Um, the back row is not, obviously, um, free-to-play units, but they're never going to rotate in, so it doesn't matter. Um, everything here is free-to-play. Now, something to keep in mind, that the boss does stun. So you're going to want to run stun resist. That is the Misha that is currently on... Uh, my Makoto. Um, so we have Valentine's Makoto. We have the free um, Shakti, the Christmas uh, um, Chloe, and the New Year's Finn. And then just a bunch of three-star units. The um, Naza is a an event three-star unit. Um, she's just a healer. Um, you can use Mayak for the heal if you want to do that as well, um, you know, there's a bunch of different options. But this team does kill, does S rank, so I'm just going to go ahead and play. Um, but yeah, he does seal, or he does stun, I mean. And yeah, so let's just kind of dive in. Um, I'm just going to put Finn on his single target attack. I'm obviously going to start buffing with Chloe. It's a physical attacker, so you are going to need to run Chloe. I think Chloe's the only one that you really, like, is mandatory. Um, the others you can kind of switch around. I'm going to buff with uh, Shakti, and I'm going to buff with um, Makoto. So. Uh, the problem is it takes a little bit longer with the free-to-play units. Like, obviously, if you're using not free-to-play units, it won't take as long. But this is just kind of to prove... Uh, Alright, I'm going to just get out of this real quick. Uh, I didn't put my armor back on. <laughs> I did that in my last video, too. I, I need to stop this. Alright. Sorry to waste your time there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely didn't put my armor back on. So I'm just going to go and make sure we have swift armors on, go down to physical. Uh, I like swift armors for this and definitely for the second battle. The second battle is 100% swift armors. However, um, if you don't have swift armors, you can use, you know, other kinds. But if you don't have them, I recommend just going ahead and uh, making them, just crafting them. Uh, but anyway, yeah, all right, that's better. So, we won't be taking as much damage for sure, and we won't be, uh, uh, we'll be do dealing a little bit more damage as well. I'm gonna debuff with Chloe, and then just start hitting with their, um, hard, you know, high, high single target attacks. Um, just to deal damage. And we should be able to take this guy down within just a few turns here. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna leave him on that. Sorry to keep moving my uh, face around there, but I want to see the turns. Um, turns are always a good good thing to see. Know when you need to buff and stuff again. I, I like just looking at the turns to be able to tell instead of actually looking at their buffs and debuffs on the characters. I prefer to just check out the, the amount of turns. Uh, but that's just me. Alright, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'll be using my um, attack... Um, my special arts, yeah, well, yeah, I'll just go ahead and use my special arts for, with Shakti, and, yep, that should be good. Uh, so the assist that I used on this is a, uh, the two Hephaestus are a physical resist minus 15% for your opponent, I believe it's 15%, and then physical, um, resist 15% up for you. So it's gonna just make you a little bit beefier and your opponent a little bit weaker, um, which is going to be, you know, it's going to be good. You're going to need that resist uh, so you don't die because, you know, free-to-play units are a little bit weaker than normal. 
Oh, Subaki, or, yeah, Makoto almost died there, <laughs> Subaki. Makoto almost died there, um, I'm glad that she did not. I've done this a bunch of times, and I haven't lost anyone yet, but who knows. Alright, cool. So, turn 8, done. Um, now, uh, you guys should know that the next mission, the level 100 one, I have tried a ton of times. I've wasted so much stamina grinding it. Um, I have wasted no stamina, obviously, um, but I have grinded it a lot, and, you know, I've come to the conclusion, to the realization, that you need at least one non-free-to-play unit, um, you just don't have the damage output, uh, without the... Without the Levi. So the Levi is there for the damage output. It doesn't have to be Levi, but the good thing about Attack on Titan units, not Eren. Eren does not have it, but um, I know Mikasa and I know uh, Levi have it is the um, giant killer trait, and this boss is a giant. So if you have the Attack on Titan units, I'll just go ahead actually and check for you guys and see if uh, the Attack on Titan Bell and Eyes has it. Uh, so let's go down here. Bell does not. Let's see about eyes. Eyes doesn't have it either. So just Mikasa and uh, and Levi. So I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. Go down here to his passives, and there is a ability point plus 50% towards giants. That just means he has a 50% damage buff toward giants, uh, more or less. And that's really good. So, you know, that's why I'm using him. You can use whatever you want. However, um... I was, I had, you know, uh, Aaron in place of him, I had uh, Finn in place of him, I've tried a bunch of things, but I can't seem to kill, like, it just doesn't output enough damage, and I run out of, st of uh, MP and die, um, this boss does stun, um, it does seal, so you're gonna need to, the Anya assist is seal resist, the Misha assist is stun resist, and then the Hephaestus uh, assist is physical resist again. I think I already applied the armor, but I'm going to make sure because I don't want to do that again. Um, I am running one non-free-to-play um, assist, and that would be the Hestia that you see there. That is just a physical or a, a strength minus 15% for your opponent, so it's going to make him do a little bit less damage. He does hit really hard, so you want as many... Um, physical buffs and debuffs as you possibly can have and that's why I threw her on there just it's gonna be a lot easier and I know that you know there's a couple of units like uh, Paradise Mood Hestia and her and I think there might be a new one I, I said that in a, in a previous video I'm not sure um, tell me if there is if you guys know but anyway um, so you guys should have something along these lines so just go ahead and throw that in there and like I said if you have more like max limit broken units or stuff throw them in there like um, this is just to prove that you can do it with free-to-play, um, more or less with free-to-play. And something to take note of is these bosses do not have any weaknesses, they do not have any resistances. So everything is at zero, like physical resist, magic resist, every uh, elemental resist is at zero. So um, there is a lot of room to just, you know, run any team that you want. And I think they did that so that it could just be, you know, a, because so anyone can level up, more or less. Uh, instead of people with specific elements or specific types of damage. Um, so I'm just going to buff, buff. I'm just going to start healing. Like That's all that she's there for. Uh, I am running a healer on this one because the only um, conditions to get S rank on this is to just have um, Ryu, uh, Ryu, Ryu, Bell, and Asfi in your party, which is interesting. Um, there's no turn um, limit. There's no anything like your characters can die uh, but I am going to be doing this with just um, the front four characters like th they're not going to die they shouldn't die anyway if they do die well th I, I, they die <laughs> but they shouldn't die um, but we'll see so I'm just going to go ahead and hit with um, yeah so you see how it's doing or the uh, orange damage uh, that means that that um, passive is kicking in um, if you notice on like the Lafia and Eyes um, bosses on level on 19 very hard or 19 anything on 19, they have a, their spirits. And if you use Lafia or Eyes on that, um, you will see the same orange, and it's the spirit killer passive kicking in. And there's you know bug killer passives and insect killer, I guess that's what it's called, and stuff like that. And uh, it does it, it's pretty much the same thing. So. Um, 
definitely keep an eye out for stuff like that because it will help you quite a bit um, in, you know, uh, killing bosses and stuff. I know one of the last Familia events, there was a, sp a spirit killer, and I was like, yay, <laughs> because I have uh, both, you know, Lafia and I's max limit broken, so that was really lucky there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and switch back back and forth between uh, Chloe's first two skills because I don't want to die. I was getting a little bit um, close there when I didn't have the, the debuff going. Um, and then I have Levi buffed. It's turn 7 now. Uh, so he's completely buffed. I'm going to go ahead and use a special arch. And then on turn 8, I'm going to use a special arch again because then it'll be charged uh, a second time. Uh, that, that, that'll be a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool like timing thing because you can use his double, his special arts two times in a row, um, completely buffed. That de actually didn't do a lot of damage. Um, the last time I ran this, his special arts were doing around 150,000. So that's unfortunate, but we should still be fine. Um, so I'm going to use this. Oh man, I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> uh, so I, I was just saying that and then it didn't do it. Um, last time I played this, the last couple of times I played this actually, I was able to use a special arts uh, twice in a row. So I don't know what to say about that one. You win some, you lose some, I guess. Um, but like I said, just switching back and forth with Chloe, and uh, then I'm just going to start, you know, buffing again. It's kind of a repetitive thing, and it's it takes a while. So like I said, if you have better units, definitely use them. Um, I used uh, Levi and. Um, Mikasa, and I don't know who else I used for this, honestly. I know I used those two, and I killed extremely fast. I just waited for both of their um, uh, special arts and just used them both, and it just killed. Like, they were doing crazy damage um, together. So, you know, if you have both of those units, definitely would recommend it. I only have Mikasa plus two, but it still worked fine. Uh, so... I'm gonna use. I'll just. I'll use the special arts again now. Maybe. Maybe it was the second time around that I was thinking of. I don't know. Um. But yeah. Um. So I was gonna put out the war game video today, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll probably be putting it out tomorrow. Um. You know. I. I'm not grinding extremely fast this um, season. So I didn't want to. You know. Put it out prematurely before I'd actually seen. You know. The kind of. Kind of the. Uh, the teams that people are actually running because I didn't want to like mislead you guys or anything. And, you know, I will check out the top 50 and see what all they're playing and stuff before the video. And maybe, maybe like trial battle a few of them. Oh, all right. There we go. 160,000. And even if I haven't grinded up in the ranks yet next season, I'll probably be using Iris again, just because I would really like to uh, get up faster. Um, next season. I thought it was really fun last season. Like even if it's a waste of Iris, I still think it's fun. Uh, so, you know. Alright, so he should be dying either this turn or next turn. We'll see. And that's that's pretty much it. So this is this has been, I guess, um, how to kill the bosses on the rank up um, guild thing. Guild, I don't know, level system thing um, with free to play units. Up, oh, <laughs> Shakti ran out of um, MP. They're they're all running out of MP except Levi. All right, he should die this this turn though, or or not? Who knows? You're killing me! You're killing me! Um, there we go. All right, turn 15. So there is no turn limit. Like I said, uh, you're still gonna get S rank just if you have those three um, units in your party, which I do, and I've already obviously achieved S rank. So, but there we go. Bell, Ryu, and Asfi. Just make sure you have those in your party. And that's it. Um, I hope this was helpful. You know, I hope that um, you got you brought, brought something away from this. Uh, if you do need any more help, you know, specifically crafting a team with your characters or anything like that, feel free to um, comment. Um, we can chat on Discord, just whatever you want. Um, I'm available to help whenever, so just let me know, and uh, I will do whatever I can to help you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, like, subscribe, please. Um, you don't have to. You can dislike, don't dislike, like. I will see you next time. Peace.